it is the Bruce Lee Game of Death from Enter Bay. Uh, the same, well, I got this on eBay for a very good price, I believe, and uh, I was quite happy to get it. At first, I was I was sceptical, you know. I think that when you see the prototype of it, and uh, you wish that you had the body that it came with with the prototype, and obviously the the rubber body where it just didn't have no joints at all and just made it out of the King Leonardo's body you seem to question yourself about how it would turn out especially with Enter Bay, especially with the final product and stuff but it's quite pleasing really uh, the box is very huge very big uh, I'll show you the uh, diorama to start off with as you can see it's very good part of the uh, game of death scene as you as you get solid wood which is pretty good which I don't like really are the panels here looks like it's just it's basically it's like hard paper with sort of like you know quite like with tape as you can see uh, and it's sort of been glued on as well so it brings out the the tape effect of it and it looks pretty cheap actually but you know the wood graining of it is really good really good work I like it a lot as I said solid wood I'll put that down and then if I open this up you've got like the instruction manual of like how the camera works and then also it basically goes through the light and stuff you can put batteries in it so it's pretty cool and then how the body works, like uh, 40 degree ang 45 degree angle, the neck movement and stuff. So it's quite good to know. Here's the reveal, guys. Now, this camera's not doing it any justice because I'm doing it on my iPhone. But, you know, if you watch Game of Death, if you watch where he does that smile and with the green bamboo stick, as you see, there's the accessories, the hands, there's the nunchuckers, and there's the green bamboo stick there. When you see the film, as I say, Game of Death, and you basically, when you, when you see it, he does that smile. And, but when you watch previous films, like Way of the Dragon, Fist of Fury, and Big Boss, when he does the smile, you know, he's... he's when he does them films and then you watch Game of Death, he looks very pale and very weightless, if you know what I mean. He's, you know, he just lost a bit of weight. And when you smile, you do get sort of frow lines and creases in your face and stuff. And for me, it just, it really shows him off well in this, you know, is that I've got to admit the head's really big though, but the hair reflects how, he really is the body the body is actually quite good uh, it is all rubber apart from the legs the trainers there the jumpsuit is really good material nice sort of uh, nice sort of material like cotton sort of thing so it's quite it, it fits quite on the figure quite well actually really nice and snug on there but yeah this uh, it's really good lightness for me the paint job is actually quite good. It's actually it's actually quite good, like with uh, with the hot toy. Actually, uh, it's certainly better than the old Enter Bay paint jobs from uh, the old ones. Like if you see the old Game of Death figures, uh, the paint job is pretty weak. But on this one, it's really good. I mean, there's sort of like stubble on his face, like 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 sort of a beard stubble. The eyes are really good. Uh, they're sort of, they're actually, they're actually more close. I mean, if you if you look at the pictures on Facebook, they just don't do it any justice. But if you actually get the figure in hand, it looks so much better. And then, uh, let me put that down. Let me go to accessories, and it's like a padding thing, so it's all good that it's padded. And then we've got another padding part. And then we have the other apartments with all like the uh, with the chair and stuff, and you know the other head sculpt. Here's the 
other head sculpt guys. It's got good battle damage on it. Uh, it is actually quite good. You know, this as I say, this video is not doing any justice, but it's a it's a good lightness. I've got to admit, it's really good. Uh, if you move, if you've put the eyes in the position that you want it, then it'll look like Bruce Lee even more. I like the bruising on the side there. The only thing I don't really like is the red mark there, but it's not really seeable. It's like a, it's like if, it feels like it's done by a, a red marker. But overall, it's pretty good. I like it. Uh, I've certainly changed my mind over it because, as I say, when you see pictures, you know, the pictures that you see on Facebook or, or like videos and stuff, especially on like YouTube, especially when you see, you know, it just don't do it justice for me. I just feel that, you know, when you see pictures, you know, you're seeing them done by a professional camera person, like from different angles and different sunlight and stuff like that. But when you when you see it in person, when you actually get it in hand as I have now, you just you you, you second think yourself. You know, you second think about it. But you know, I like the I like the uh, hair. It's nicely sculpted because when you watch Fist of Fury, the way of the dragon or Big Boss, he has sort of flat hair, not big hair sort of thing. But when you when you watch Game of Death, his hair's like a mop sort of thing. So it, it looks really good. The paint job is really good, actually. Again, it looks like it's got stubble on its face. And, you know, it's it's really good. I really like it, actually. So I won't position... I'll, I'll make sure I position the eyes better. Uh, as I say, the bruising on the cheek and the... and round, Especially around this side is really good. Uh, and it does look like Bruce Lee because, as I say, Bruce Lee was very fragile in Game of Death, he, he was very skinnier, very, you know, he, he looked like he's lost a lot of weight from the previous films that he did, uh, I think his best period of his career was, was Enter the Dragon, especially when it comes to his fitness, you know, he looked really good, healthy, but Game of Death, I knew that there was something wrong with him, and, you know, I'll, I'll put, I'll do a bit of video later, and, you know, say, and put the, put Game of Death film on, and, you know, do this figure a bit more justice because it deserves it. I think the paint job, as I say, is really good. It's a shame you don't get the prototype body, but you know, when when does Bruce Lee ever, when does Bruce Lee ever, you know, show his body off in Game of Death? You know, he wears a jumpsuit fully on, and uh, I'm proud to have it. To be honest. So here it is again, guys. Here's the smiley head sculpt. There's a better picture of it a video of it and there's the jumpsuit and as I say it fits really nice on there especially with the sleeves and stuff and it fits really perfect you know and there it is guys absolutely nothing wrong with it so yeah I think I've uh, I think I dished this too bad so sorry enter bay sorry to anyone that uh, hated my comments on it but yeah I love it I think it's good well worth the money. So thanks a lot guys. Thanks for watching. And uh, take care now. Bye.